The stellar life cycle from birth to death. Stars are the building blocks of our universe. They're born from vast clouds of gas and dust. These clouds collapse under their own gravity. As they shrink, they heat up. Eventually, they become hot enough to ignite nuclear fusion. This is the moment a star is born. For most of their lives, stars burn hydrogen in their cores. This process releases enormous amounts of energy. This energy pushes outwards, balancing the inward pull of gravity. Stars can live like this for millions or billions of years, but eventually, they run out of fuel. What happens next depends on the star's mass. Small and medium-sized stars, like our sun, swell up into red giants. They shed their outer layers, leaving behind a white dwarf. More massive stars explode as supernovae, leaving behind neutron stars or black holes. In the next sections, we'll explore these remnants in more detail. White dwarfs are the final stage for most stars. They're what's left after a star has burned through all its fuel. It sheds its outer layers, leaving a small, hot core, a white dwarf. These remnants are incredibly dense. A teaspoon of white dwarf material weighs as much as an elephant. They're packed into a sphere about the size of Earth. They slowly cool over billions of years. These cooling embers help us understand stellar evolution. Neutron stars are born in the fiery deaths of massive stars. When a star much bigger than our sun runs out of fuel, it explodes as a supernova. The core left behind collapses under its own gravity, becoming so dense that protons and electrons combine to form neutrons, hence the name neutron star. These objects are mind-bogglingly dense. A neutron star typically has a mass greater than our sun, but is squeezed into a sphere only about 20 kilometers across. The gravity on a neutron star's surface is intense, about 100 billion times stronger than Earth's gravity. One of the most fascinating things about neutron stars is their spin. They rotate incredibly fast, some spinning hundreds of times per second. This rapid rotation, combined with strong magnetic fields, can turn neutron stars into pulsars. Pulsars emit beams of radiation from their magnetic poles, sweeping across space like cosmic lighthouses. Neutron stars are natural laboratories for extreme physics. Their interiors are denser than atomic nuclei, allowing scientists to study matter under conditions impossible to create on Earth. Some neutron stars have magnetic fields trillions of times stronger than Earth's. Section 4. Comparing Stellar Remnants – White Dwarfs versus Neutron Stars White dwarfs and neutron stars are both stellar remnants, but they're very different. White dwarfs are about the size of Earth but can be as massive as our Sun. Neutron stars are much smaller, only about 20 kilometers across, but much more massive. The density difference is extreme. A cubic centimeter of white dwarf material would weigh about a ton. A cubic centimeter of neutron star material would weigh about 100 million tons. White dwarfs are supported by electron degeneracy pressure. Neutron stars are held up by neutron degeneracy pressure. White dwarfs will slowly cool over billions of years, eventually becoming black dwarfs. Neutron stars might merge with other neutron stars or black holes, creating gravitational waves. Both types of remnants help us understand stellar evolution and the physics of extreme environments. White dwarfs in binary systems can lead to nova explosions. Neutron stars in binary systems can lead to spectacular mergers. These events provide valuable insights into the universe. Section 5. Unraveling Mysteries the future of stellar remnant research. The study of white dwarfs and neutron stars is far from over. These stellar remnants continue to surprise us and challenge our understanding of physics. One exciting area of research is using white dwarfs as cosmic clocks. As white dwarfs cool, they change in predictable ways, allowing scientists to estimate the age of star clusters and galaxies. White dwarfs in binary systems can lead to type Ia supernovae, crucial for measuring cosmic distances. Neutron stars offer their own set of mysteries. We still don't fully understand what happens inside these incredibly dense objects. Some theories suggest exotic forms of matter might exist in their cores. Studying neutron stars could help us understand how matter behaves under extreme conditions. Both types of remnants are important for gravitational wave astronomy. White dwarfs in binary systems can produce continuous gravitational waves. Neutron star mergers create powerful gravitational wave events. These waves carry information about some of the most extreme events in the universe. As our detection methods improve, we'll learn more about these cosmic cataclysms. 
Section 6, Conclusion, The Cosmic Legacy of Stellar Evolution. White dwarfs and neutron stars are cosmic time capsules. They offer windows into extreme physics and shape galaxies. Stars are born, live, and die. Their material gets recycled into new stars and planets. Studying these remnants shows human curiosity and ingenuity. This knowledge expands our understanding of the universe. The legacy of stellar evolution will inspire generations.